I think the definition of greatness is to inspire the people next to you. I think that's what greatness is or should be. It's not something that's, that lives and dies with one person. It's how can you inspire a person to then in turn inspire another person that then inspires another person. And that's how you create something that I think lasts forever. What's going on everyone, it's Asil Suede. In this video, I'm going to be attempting a day in the diet of Kobe Bryant. So I'm going to eat like Kobe Bryant for a day. And before this video gets started, I quickly want to say rest in peace to not only one of the best basketball players to ever do it, but one of the best athletes in the entire world in any sort of sport, guys. Kobe Bryant was obviously known for his incredible work ethic. Seriously, like nobody worked as hard as that guy. You always want to outwork your potential. You know, as hard as you believe you can work, you can work harder than that. Not only with his diet, his training, his business, everything about the guy is so genuinely inspiring. So this is my own way of paying tribute to Kobe Bryant because he inspired me to get to where I am today with not obviously basketball, but with my own endeavors and my own goals. So with that being said, if you guys want to pay your own tribute, let me know in the comment section down below if Kobe Bryant inspired you to do anything in your own sort of way or your own sort of path or your life journey because he sure as hell inspired me. But anyways, guys, let's get started with this video. So Kobe Bryant's diet is going to consist of a tad bit over 3000 calories coming from five very clean meals. So after doing loads of research on his diet, Kobe took his diet extremely seriously, all right? He was never slacking off, not only when it comes to training, as most of you, especially all you basketball fans know, but also his diet. I think diet's always the hardest thing, you know, because we're all accustomed to eating we want to eat whatever we want to eat. And you become comfortable with that. And so changing that is, you know, in essence, changing in your lifestyle. So that's, uh, that's probably been the most, he actually credited a ton of his success on the court simply by following the right diet plan and making sure he's always keeping himself in check in the kitchen. So with that being said, I'm going to get inside the kitchen and we're going to get started with meal number one. Starting off with meal number one, what we have here is three whole eggs with a cup of non-fat yogurt and a serving of mixed nuts with some cinnamon on top, which looks really, really good. But overall, looks like a very athletic-like breakfast. So let's go ahead and dig in. Okay. I'm good. You know what, guys? These eggs were supposed to be very yolky, but definitely overcooked it a little bit. Okay, so I'm definitely no professional chef and those eggs could have used a little less time, but still overall really good. Anyways, it is time to move on to the yogurt and nuts. Okay, wow. If you are looking for something that is high in protein and absolutely delicious, that right there is your go-to. Greek yogurt, nuts, and cinnamon. Tastes amazing. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up meal number one. I'll see every single one of you for meal number two in just a little bit. So I just got done preparing meal number two and this 
Definitely doesn't look too hot, but I can promise you all that this smells out of this world. But meal number two is going to consist of a cup of oatmeal cooked in a cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And then what's mixed in inside is one scoop of chocolate brownie flavored whey protein powder, along with two tablespoons of peanut butter. Now, it didn't mention that Kobe mixed his protein powder in the oatmeal, just like I did it right now. I'm sure he just drinks it in a shaker cup like most people. However, I figured why not knock two birds in one stone and make my oatmeal recipe, which is just protein oatmeal, okay? Literally, you just mixed in your protein powder in the oatmeal and it makes it bomb. Anyways, let's go ahead and dig in. This smells fantastic. Oh yeah, that is heaven in a toilet bowl right there. <laughs> Okay, wow, that was absolutely amazing. Literally wiped that clean in record-breaking time. But just a quick tip to make your pro meal taste even better, which I should have done right now, but I completely forgot. Add in some sea salt along with some natural zero-calorie sweetener and cinnamon makes it taste a whole lot better as well. But anyways, guys, for those of you also that were wondering what specific protein powder I used in that, it was the Impact Weight Isolate Powder by My Protein. It's got 90 calories per scoop with only zero grams of fat, two grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein. So I will link this in the description box down below in case you wanna check it out yourself. And also, huge thing going on, My Protein is having a spring sale, so their entire website is up to 60% off. And then when you use my discount code to VIP at checkout, you're gonna save an extra 35% off even on the items that are up to 60% off okay so you can literally get up to 95% off on some items on the website so I'm gonna go ahead and link this in the description box so you can get this super cheap right now during their spring sale along with the my protein website and just make sure you use the discount code of seal VIP to make sure you get up to 95% off on this stuff but anyways guys that was meal number two it was fantastic I'll see every single one of you for meal number three in just a bit Moving on to meal number three. This meal is going to consist of two cups of steamed broccoli, two baked red potatoes, eight ounces of chicken thighs, and some green tea because Kobe Bryant apparently loves to drink a ton of green tea. So just a little bit of a disclaimer here, guys. So this meal originally in Kobe Bryant's diet plan is supposed to consist of eight ounces of lean steak. However, due to the current COVID-19 and quarantine situation, there is absolutely no steak left at the grocery store. And I can't even head to the grocery store Store, even if I wanted to. So what I did to replace that instead was replace the lean red meat with the chicken thighs. Now this is going to contain the same exact macronutrient and calorie profile that the lean steak would have consisted this meal. So just wanna give you all a heads up and I'm doing the best with what I got. But anyways guys, this looks very clean, very mean, very lean and very delicious. Let's dig in. Wow, that is a thick potato. Okay, so I wanna get into something here. So on Instagram, I've been doing something on my stories called Quarantine Thoughts, where I pretty much just share my thoughts during quarantine, because there's a whole lot going on here when you're stuck at home all day long. But look, if you're not following me on Instagram, you really are doing yourself a disservice. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, at the seal suede, so you can join in to these quarantine thoughts. But guys, how much better would it, this whole quarantine situation be if we actually had sports to watch? Seriously, I don't think any of us, including myself, would be complaining nearly as much being cooped up home all day long when you actually have some sports to watch. But anyways, let me know in the comment section down below what you think about that. And uh, one more thing, I don't really wanna talk about this honestly because I wanna keep this as positive as possible, but man, I just can't imagine the feeling of Kobe Bryant's family and friends right now. You know, it's been so some time since his death but it really feels like just yesterday and his daughter as well and everyone else on that helicopter I seriously can't imagine what the family's going through what his friends are going through so seriously my deepest condolences go out to Kobe Bryant's family and friends and the guy seriously has taught me a lot he has inspired me a lot to get to where I am today man if you had to get up every single morning and remind yourself how hard you need to work I need to choose a different profession. I would look up to that guy a lot, and it wasn't towards the aspect of basketball. It was literally everything the guy could do all at once. Juggling the sport, family, a business, and just everything he was doing all at once was absolutely incredible. Anyways, guys, pay my respects to Kobe. It honestly just feels really good to pay my own tributes. 
Okay, that is going to conclude meal number three. So this is actually going to be my pre-workout meal. So I'm gonna go ahead and get an epic home workout in because I can't head to the gym. Of course, gyms are closed. They've been closed for a very long time. They're gonna continue to be closed for a very, very long time due to the quarantine. But luckily, I've still been getting some amazing home workouts in. So let's go ahead, head to the gym. Well, as in right there and get to it. You know, the idea is a very simple one. And you know, the Mamba mentality simply means trying to be the best version of yourself. Every day, you're trying to become better. It's just a matter of what's important to you and what's important to you for, for whatever reason you know I, I felt like um, I didn't feel good about myself if I wasn't doing everything I could to be the best version of myself <laughs> So I just got done with my home workout. Didn't even get to shower or change. Still stinky and everything, but immediately prepared my post-workout meal. And look guys, I had an amazing workout. And if you're currently looking for free home workouts and you wanna see exactly what my home workouts look like, then all you gotta do is click the first link in the description box down below in order to join my free home workout Facebook group. But anyways, this is going to be my post-workout meal, which is meal number four. And it's going to consist of one cup of fat-free Greek yogurt, one cup of blueberries, one serving of mixed nuts, and some cinnamon. Now this looks absolutely amazing, especially for a post-workout meal. It just looks refreshing and extremely aesthetic, and I'm sure it's going to taste even better. Let's go ahead and dig right into meal number four. Oh yeah, it tastes just as good as it looks. Okay, this honestly feels like some sort of dessert. Seriously, it's unreal. Okay, wow. I've said this like a million times, but I'm genuinely impressed. Give this recipe a try if you're looking for a high protein snack or a meal. Okay, wow, so it seems like I just ate a sundae, only it actually felt like I was making games. But meal number four has been completed. That was amazing. Now it's time to move on to meal number five, which is going to be the last and final meal in Kobe Bryant's diet. So I'll see every single one of you for meal number five in just a moment. So moving on to the last and final meal, which is going to be meal number five. What we have here is one cup of white rice, a cup of black beans, eight ounces of ground chicken, two cups of steamed broccoli, and a cup of shredded romaine lettuce with some light balsamic vinaigrette. Now, a little bit of a disclaimer here, just like the previous meal. So what was specifically listed for this meal was actually eight ounces of ground beef. Now, again, due to the quarantine situation, I couldn't even get my hands on any kind of lean ground beef because literally everything is sold out in the stores and I can't even get to the grocery store. So what I did to substitute the eight ounces of ground beef that was called for on this specific meal was just simply replace it with ground chicken, which actually had the same exact calorie and a macronutrient profile. So we're still good to go here, guys. I'm doing my absolute best. But anyways, this looks actually really, really good. And again, super, super healthy, just like the rest of the meals for today's diet. And I'm very excited as always to get this going. Okay, I can't believe I almost forgot the most important part, which is hot sauce, because hot sauce goes good on literally everything. Now, we are good to go. 
You know what? I have not had black beans in a very long time and I actually used to always have them back in college. Like they're such a versatile and cheap protein and carbohydrate sources. Like throw black beans with some rice and some chicken or you know beef and some rice and it just completely transforms the dish. This was so freaking good that I almost forgot I had the salad on the side. There you go ladies and gentlemen and don't you ever forget to eat your vegetables. And there you have it, meal number five, AKA the last and final meal has been completed. And wow, that was absolutely amazing. Super healthy, super delicious, super filling. This will literally put Chipotle out of business. So the total macros and calories in Kobe Bryant's diet consisted of 3,020 calories coming from 280 grams of carbs, 113 grams of fat, and 240 grams of protein. Now, I really enjoyed today's diet, guys. Seriously, I'm gonna implement actually a lot of the meals that I followed today in my own diet to hit my own calories and macros because they were just that awesome. But anyways, it was a ton of fun to film this video. And again, it was my own way to pay tribute to an absolute legend. Rest in peace to Kobe Bryant, along with his daughter and everyone else on that helicopter crash. Seriously, I can only imagine the kind of pain that his family and friends are going through. But anyways, guys, make sure you give this video a like if you personally enjoyed this, and then make sure you comment down below and let me know which other celebrity or athlete you'd like to see in my next Celebrity Day in the Diet video. And also, just a few quick important notes before I end off this video. If you're interested in free home workouts, then make sure you click the first link in the description box down below in order to join my free home workout Facebook group for free workouts and a community to post your progress with completely for free. And then also if you're looking for personalized diet plans, workout plans, or my one-on-one -on -one coaching, make sure you click the second link in the description box down below to get my services for 25% off. And then if you somehow have access to the gym or a weight room, then make sure you click the third link in the description box down below to check out my 12-week physique program, which is the same exact weight training plan that I personally follow myself. Anyways guys, if you are new to my YouTube channel, you are somehow just now stumbling upon my videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button right now and then hit the notification bell right next to it so you're constantly being updated on when I drop new YouTube videos every single week. And also make sure you follow me on Instagram at the seal suede. I've been posting every single day on there and I'd love to personally connect with you one-on-one. -on -one. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see every single one of you in the next video. I want more. <laughs> I want more. I want to learn more. Where can I learn more? <laughs> Where can I look? You know? I want more. I want to learn this thing some more. There's got to be another level.